Hi, Maria here, and I want to share with you how I decided to start my own channel. Okay, so I've practiced this so many times, I've written so many scripts, and I've sweated on so many videos, that's why I have this, it's so hot. By the way, I'm editing my own videos, I'm actually practically doing everything myself. So, I realized how hard it is. So kudos to all of you YouTubers who are editing your own videos and coming up with such fabulous content. I'm so jealous, but okay, I have to say something about that bit, about making a video being so hard. Yes, it is hard, but it is fun because you are expressing yourself. I had fun. There were nights where in, and days where I would be up for more than 24 hours. I'm not kidding this, but I had been on such a high. It's um, invigorating. It's totally worth it. Okay, so back to that. What I'm trying to say is, I think I realized that, you know how when you grow up, while you're growing up, you're kind of like, pose the question on, okay, what do you want to be when you grow up? At least that's how it was with my generation. It was like already forced upon us that you have to decide what you want to be when you're like, what, six years old. <laughs> also, I wanted to add to that. Now I get it, what people are saying on motivational videos. Some of them are on point that you need to follow your passion to be successful in life. Um, Nothing wrong with money. It's good to have money, but it's not everything. So it's just part of the abundance. But what I'm trying to say is that come to terms with what is my passion. And I had to realize that, that I actually like went through each and everything that I like to do. And it was thrifting that I was most happy with. After thrifting, I would just get on a project and start transforming stuff for myself. I was really happy when I was doing that and making projects because it was always a challenge. But I didn't realize that. It's so simple. It was like right there in front of me. That's what I want to do. That's what that's what I realized. <laughs> okay, back to that. And um, I, you know, raised a family. I'm a single mom. My sons are already grown and they're out of the nest still. Um, I've struggled to... Sorry, it's so hot. <laughs> okay, I've struggled to um, find myself and find how I could be like fitting into this world that was constantly evolving. Okay, I also wanted to add, there was not no such thing as a virtual platform, a virtual world back then. 20 years ago, there was none of that. And now it's like everything is fully online. If you put it in another perspective, it opened up a whole new world. So that's what I was trying to say. We were getting ready for it. The millennials were already preparing that platform. And then boom, we were all launched into it last year. So I appreciate it now. <laughs> I'm so happy to be here. Okay, back to that. Okay, quick background on what I did for work. So I started off as an assistant designer for a really bougie lingerie company that was based in New York. So I did that while I was here in the Philippines. Um, and then I went to uh, Los Angeles to live there and I was there for 10 years. All the jobs that I had there was in retail in fashion retail, so I was a retail whore. <laughs> but yes, I actually did work for all these like fancy and small, beautiful specialty boutiques that sold um, like really expensive clothes, like really well-known uh, designers. And so there was one particular um, boutique there that I worked at a lot of the clients were asking me where I got my stuff and I made them. So my boss back then allowed me to put a 12 piece collection in the store. My clothes were the only line there that was not like a famous designer and it sold. And that's how I 
knew that, you know, I could do this. Unfortunately, I left LA after that year and I came back home. And so I wasn't really able to further that. And so I think now it's time. As an artist and as a fashion designer, well, I wouldn't say I'm a fashion designer. I'm sorry, I'm a deconstructor because it's not really fashion that I'm doing. I'm styling clothes, I'm repurposing them. I correct myself, that's what I've been doing. I'm gonna show you this shirt. It's a Keith Haring shirt. It's a, it's a t-shirt that I converted into a top. So that 10 years that I did doing retail for different stores, like gave me a background of what I'm doing now. So I, that was actually my styling school. Okay, back to that. I couldn't really find my relevance to that world because I don't know, I, it's like everything was preset. There was no, not really much any room for people like me, but with the new generation that came in, my son's generation, millennials, um, I have to say that I'm grateful to you guys because your generation just turned everything around and a lot of you have been awake. A lot of you were born awake and you're like game changers. So I just found out my place in this new world that you guys have created. Nobody would have ever thought that you could following your passion on social media. And I know, I get it, you guys have been doing this like forever. Let's say I never really explored that because I was resistant to that platform for a long time. And so I kept like doing the nine to five. I had a job that paid me well, but I really didn't love. Okay, I have to say something about that bit. The last five years did like some gigs with the so call center. It just drained the life out of me that I just wanted to quit, but I just didn't know how and I didn't have the courage to do it. So thank God the account closed last month with no warning. So this is how it came about. And so after this turn of events, I confided to my bestie, Shatsi. And you know we all need our angels in our life. This is where the pivotal point of my story is now. Is she made me really realize that because I was saying, you know, I feel so irrelevant because you know I've been looking online and I can't seem to find anything that fits me. She's like, you are not irrelevant. In fact, your style and your personality is so interesting to a lot of people. You know, you're an artist, express how you feel and set up a YouTube channel. Just explore and do the thing that you love to do and share it with the world. And I thought about that for a while and I was like, you know what, I do want to do that. That was it. That was what made me realize that I can do it. In the past year, I also noticed that I've been getting a lot of attention. People on the street, strangers would stop me and comment on my style, how they like the way I style my clothes. They ask me where I get it. And most of them would ask to have their pictures taken with me, which makes me feel really special. I'm beginning to realize that there is something that relevant about me with the younger generation. My sons have been encouraging me to set up an Instagram account and get on YouTube and just take pictures of me in my clothes. That's another thing that inspires me. Recently, I've just started like binge watching all these, you know, the stories and looking at people's lives and I opened a whole new world. You know, I'm just discovering everything. So I feel like I'm born again. <laughs> dramatic but that's exactly how I feel it's like I'm absorbing so much information it's mind-blowing and this is funny literally had to google everything the PC that I have right now I just got that two months ago I would say in the last eight years 
I never had a, a laptop or a PC or a television. You know, just a smartphone. And the smartphone, I only got that like three years ago. I just learned how to screenshot. I just learned how to copy paste. I just, it's like that. Like, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> finished two videos already and I didn't quite like it because it was kind of scripted and I'm, that's not really how I am so I decided to do it again this time this way so I'm sorry this is how it goes for me I just wanted to share with you the life of an artist a single woman choosing to be single, being happy with it, and following her passion. And so at this age, this is my, I guess, goal in life. I want to be an influencer or I want to just express myself to the world and put myself out there. So that is, that is it. I don't want to say anymore or else I'll be rambling on. But I just wanted to give you a background of that, of how I decided to be on YouTube. Let's go on this journey together, journey together, life in the virtual world with Maria.